okay guys <clears throat> next we have the common collector input and output characteristics so here I will I, I will draw the, the diagram of common collector configuration so here we have this this is the emitter this is the base and this is the collector N P N transistor this is collector this is base and this is in meet. Now in common collector configuration we have collector is common between base and emitter. So this is junction J1 and this is junction J2. This junction J1 will be forward bias and junction J2 will be reverse bias. So for that we use two batteries. This is battery, this is negative, this is positive. So this is battery VBB which makes this junction J to uh, reverse bias and we have another battery here which I represent by this minus and plus okay. and this battery is VE and this VE e makes this junction J1 forward biased so this junction is forward biased and this junction J2 is reverse biased so here we have a potential difference of voltage between collector and base so the voltage between collector and base is represented by V C B and the voltage between this emitter and collector is represented by here is represented by V EC. Now similarly the voltage across this base and emitter will be VBE v, VBE Now this is the common collector configurations and this is the transistor which is acting which is working in active mode because in active mode we have this junction J1 is forward bias and junction J2 is reverse bias. Now first I will discuss the input characteristics input characteristics now the emitter current is outward here this is the emitter current Okay, IE, which is outward, while the collector current IC and the base current IB they are inward. So here the input parameters are IB and VCB, and the output parameters are IE and VEC. Are the input current is IB and the output current is IE input voltage is VCB and the output voltage is VEC now input characteristic is defined as it is a graphical sorry I will use it is a graphical it is a graphical relation between input current which is IB and input voltage which is VCB at constant output voltage which is VEC because the output voltage is this way so we, ha we will draw a graph, uh, we will plot a relations, a graphical relation between input voltage which is VCB which is measured in volt and input current which is IB which will be measured in micro emitter. And we will keep VCB constant, okay? VEC sorry, VEC which is output voltage will be 
keeping constant. Now, initially, let's suppose let V E C is keeping constant, and I consider its value to be 10 volt. Then the relation between I B and V C B is like this. This is for V E C is equal to 10 volt. So we get a graph between I B and V C B for constant V E C like this. Similarly, if I in decrease the value of V E C from 10 to 5 volt, then we have a relation like this. Here is the dotted line, okay? This is for the case when VEC is equal to 5 volt. Now, I will explain why the input characteristic are the input are the input current and input voltage, they are decreasing like this. Why? As we know that from this figure, okay, this output voltage, which is VEC, which is equal to the voltage at this Two terminals so it's this VCB plus this VBE now we have this relation like this VEC which is the voltage between these two terminals will be equal to the voltage between these two terminal on this side so on this side we have this this voltage plus this voltage if we sum both this voltage then we get this one VEC now here as we increase VEC here if we increase VEC this is the symbol for the increase so for increase I will use this symbol and for the decrease I will use this symbol so if we increase VEC like if we increase VEC let's say 10 volt then what will happen this VCB also increases okay and this is the voltage between collector and base and collector and base junction is always reverse wise. So it means that according to early shift, according to early shift, the effective weight of the base will increase. Now the effective width of the base will decrease. And if we use a large value of reverse bias voltage, then the junction width increase while the effective width or the effective width of the base will decrease. So once the base effective width decreases, then there will be less recombination of electrons with holes. If there is a less recombination of electrons with holes, then what will happen? The base current will decrease. So the base current will decrease. So we can say that as we increase this VEC, then VCB also increases from this relation. So once VCB is increasing, then according to this early shift, the effective weight, this the effective weight of the base region decreases. So there is a least recombination of electrons with holes in the base region and hence the base current will decrease. So there is, so which is shown here, so the base current decreases. Now on the other hand, if we decrease VEC, if we decrease VEC from 10 volt to 5 volt, if we decrease VEC, this is the symbol for the decrease now. Then what will happen? This VCB also decreases. 
So VCV also decreases. So once VCV decreases, then this effective weight will increase. WEF effective weight will increase. So once effective weight increases, then there will be a large recombination of electrons in holes in the base region. So the base current IB will increase. So that's why if you see here, the base current increase from this one to this one. So this is the explanation for the input characteristic of common collector configuration. Now I will discuss the output characteristic. The output Uh, the output characteristic. Now, if you look at here, I can use this page. Yes. Now, the output characteristic is Basically, the output characteristic is defined as it is a graphical relation between output current, which is IE, and output voltage, which is VEC by keeping input current which is IB constant ok so here the input current is output current is IE in the output voltage is this one while the input current is IB so we will plot or uh, graph between input current, output current which is IE and the output voltage which is VEC which is measured in volt and this is measured in milli and fair. while keeping output current, input current IB is common. Now uh, first I we know that the relation between IC and IE is alpha IE plus IC B. Now ICBO is the leakage current which is very very small so we can neglect ICBO. So once I neglect ICBO then IC will be equal to alpha I and we know that the alpha values varies from 0 0.95 to 0 0.98 which is approximately equal to 1 because 0 0.95 or 0 0.98 they are approximately equal to 1 so if I put alpha is equal to approximately equal to 1 then IC is will be approximately equal to I now IE is the output current in this is the output current and common collector configuration ok and IEC is the output current and common base configuration and both the output current are same so it means that the output characteristic of common collector configuration ok will be similar to the output characteristic of common base configuration
And we know that in common base configuration, if we increase the VEC by keeping IB common, like for IB is equal to zero, we have this leakage current, which is ICBO, and this region is called cutoff region. Now, as I increase the value of what we call it, the IB. Okay, sorry, this line is not like this. It's like this. If I increase the IB value, then we have this relation. The IB is equal to zero, then we have 10 microampere, then we have 20 microampere, and then we have 30 microampere. These are the value of IB. Then the IE varies with EC like this. Now this is re this region here is called active region. And this region here, this one, is called reverse saturation region. So this is all about the output characteristic of common collector configuration. Now, a common collector configuration is also called emitter follower current circuit because its output follow common emitter configuration. Uh, I think I am wrong here. Now. This is the common emitter configuration, okay? This is common emitter configuration. So it means that the output current in common co collector configuration will be the same as the output current in common emitter configuration. This is emitter configuration, okay? So output characteristic of common collector configuration will be similar to the output characteristic of common emitter configuration. This is a common emitter configuration. So it means that the, this common collector configuration is also called emitter follower. Circuit. And the reason is because its output follow common emitter configuration. Because its output follow common emitter configuration. Now it can also be used, this common uh, common collector configuration can also be used as impedance matching. Impedance matching. Because input impedance of this common collector configuration is high input impedance is high and output impedance is low okay the input, in, input impedance are of this common collector configuration is high as compared to the output impedance so that is why we call it impedance I can be we can use it as a impedance matcher and we can also call uh, that is why we can use as buffer amplification so that's why we can use it as a buffer amplification this thing we will discuss later in our upcoming lectures okay thank you so this is all about input and output characteristic of a common collector configuration.